Hey, did you hear the big news? Sunscreen doesn't work, so I guess we should all just stay inside or else get cancer and die. This news, which is being reported in venues like Time and Jezebel, comes not from a group of researchers, but from a press release put out by the environmental working group, EWG, which is actually just a bunch of ideologues who hate chemicals. Yes, chemicals like hydrogen peroxide or uh, sulfuric acid or water. They've cherry-picked a few studies and combined them with their own research to scare people into throwing away their sunscreens, making them believe that sunscreens don't work, which isn't true, and that they are downright dangerous, which is also not true. As with most pseudosciences, there is a germ of truth to what they say. There are a lot of sunscreen companies that claim that their products can do a lot more than they actually can do. There are some sunscreens that claim to provide a certain SPF that they can't actually match. Also, there are some sunscreens that don't cover both UVA and UVB radiation. UVB is the one that causes sunburns, but UVA doesn't do that, but it does cause skin damage and can cause cancer. So you need to look out for a sunscreen that can block both of those things. Also, a lot of people still don't realize that in order for sunscreen to work effectively, you have to apply a lot of it, like so much that you might feel silly. But that's really only a problem for people with the psychological profile of the average 14-year-old who might be concerned less with products that block cancer and more with products that might block sex. So then we get to the bad science. EWG states that vitamin A could result in skin tumors. This is based on one unpublished, unreproduced study that has been heavily criticized many times and that hundreds of other studies have shown to be untrue. Uh, according to the consensus, the scientific consensus, vitamin A is perfectly safe for topical application. The EWG also claims that oxybenzone may cause problems, another claim that flies in the face of scientific consensus. There have been multiple studies showing that oxybenzone is more likely than not perfectly safe. It doesn't accumulate in the body and anything that does go into your body is safely filtered out. As bad as the reporting has been on this press release, I have to commend one commenter over on Jezebel called A Small Turnip who really lays the scientific smackdown on the author of that post. I normally do not recommend that anyone read the comments anywhere, but in this case, do it. Go see exactly the right way to help spread critical thinking and to put an end to bad journalistic fear-mongering. And for God's sakes, always wear sunscreen.